Hello, this is Geo Techland, and today I'm going to be taking a look at MX Linux. MX Linux is the number one distro, at least according to DistroWatch. It's been at number one for, I would say, maybe the last year or two. I've made a video about MX Linux before, but I always still ask the question why is it so popular? How is it number one on DistroWatch? Now, of course, with DistroWatch, the popularity is based on users browsing on DistroWatch and clicking on the distro, at least from my understanding. So it might only be a DistroWatch thing there. MX Linux is based on the stable version of Debian. If you're looking for a more stable distro that's much better tested on hardware, then that is what MX Linux offers as an advantage. A lot of people want stability, but maybe they may not want to install something like Debian stable because maybe some packages are just too old. With MX Linux, you get a little bit more updated versions of certain things. It is using the XFCE interface. And by default, the panel is to the left side here. I'm not a big fan of how this panel looks here, but it could be changed to put it towards the bottom here. So it does give you some customizability. And that is something that the distro purposely tries to offer. It lets you customize the panel as you see fit. And it looks like it uses a more traditional Windows-like environment here with these uh, taskbars here. And it looks like it lets you choose a theme and lets you easily change it here in this tweaks tool. But it looks like they also give you an option to tweak it here. So I think this way it's a bit more user-friendly. I'm gonna open a terminal and I'm going to type in the kernel and you get a 5.10. So it is a much older kernel. It is not as new as what you find on the Ubuntu based distros, but it's also not that old. The other pro of using this distro is that it's designed not to be that heavy on system resources. As you can see here, it's only using 641 megabytes of RAM. And so this OS might run very well on an older machine. And especially when you go to the website, it seems that they're planning on supporting 32-bit systems for the foreseeable future. So again, I'm starting to get an idea of the profile here. So far, we've got an older, stable Debian base here, a more traditional, less resource-intensive desktop environment. So it almost seems to be like a lightweight distro as well. And then when you look at the Mesa driver, you also get an older 20.3.4, whereas other Ubuntu-based or Arch Manjaro-based distros have a much higher version of Mesa. And which makes sense, when you look at the Steam survey for Linux, you see that users typically are using Ubuntu-based or Arch-based distros. There's Pop! OS there. And MX Linux is not something that is being recommended for gaming or bleeding edge. This is why in, in many ways, even though it's very popular on DistroWatch, it doesn't seem like it's really popular out there. Like let's say if you're browsing through YouTube about which distros are recommended, MX Linux doesn't really get mentioned much. But let me know your thoughts. If you're using MX Linux, let me know why you're using it in the comments below. And if you like my video, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. If you're enjoying my video, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, PeerTube, follow me on Odyssey. You could also support me on LibraPay, Patreon, and by shopping at Earth Hero. See links in the description below.